Throughout my career, I definitely put myself in situations that, in retrospect, were probably not the safest. I would justify it by thinking, well, at least I got the shot. Every time that I go out on assignment, I'm risking my health, but I'm also risking the health of my family back home, and that's something that I never had to think about before. I want to go out and shoot and document what's going on, but the reality of what I'm doing is scary. I was granted access to shoot inside the intensive care units of two hospitals near the California and Mexico border. I went there because both hospitals reported an influx in COVID cases. Both ICUs were hit pretty hard. I remember going to the first hospital and they were very strict. They checked my temperature at the door, required an N95 mask, and even gave me a face shield to wear. And it was pretty tough to do my job. I was hot, sweaty, the face shield kept fogging up. I only wore the mask and shield for about an hour. I can only imagine how healthcare workers feel after a whole shift of wearing them. There's always a photograph that when you capture it, it stays with you. My favorite by far was the one of the chaplain performing the anointing of the sick sacrament. There was a COVID patient and he was on a ventilator, unconscious, but for that moment, he wasn't alone. I feel privileged to be granted access to places that are off limits to most people. And to know that through my photography, I'm able to share what I see with the rest of the world. That's why I became a photojournalist. So in the end, it's worth it for me.